today is the two year anniversary of the Afghan withdrawal. Mm. Um, and uh, I was, uh, I forget how I got started on that one, but I was, I was looking at total cost of what we spent so far in Ukraine. And not only is it a two year anniversary of the withdrawal from, uh, from Afghanistan, but other comparisons um, we've spent in Ukraine since whenever, January 2022. So, you know, a little over a year, obviously, a year and a half. We've dropped about upwards north of $80 billion there, right? More than that, in all honesty, because I don't think we actually know what the full number is. I don't think the State Department knows. I don't think the Pentagon actually knows. They certainly don't know necessarily where all the money is going to. But we've dropped at $80 billion, say, let's call it that. Um, from 2001 to 2020 in Afghanistan, we spent about $73, $74 billion. So think about that. Wow. <laughs> Almost 20 years in Afghanistan, we spent about $73 billion. About a year and a half in Ukraine, we've spent $80 billion plus. I'm not saying it's, you know, w that we shouldn't be doing it or that we, sh you know, we, we should you know, not be supporting the Ukrainian uh, military. I'm just saying it's a fascinating fact as far as I'm concerned. It just shows the level of support. You know, Ukraine is, is, is uh, at the top of our... Um, Obviously, we have, we don't give that much money to anybody by far, right? And the last time that last time a, a European was country, it was at the top of, of of the of the aid list was you know the Marshall Plan, maybe um, uh, the Truman uh, administration. So it's pretty significant. But the Afghanistan thing, um, two years after the withdrawal, we've spent. Since then, since since the withdrawal, we've spent or the U.S. government's allocated about eight billion dollars. Now, the interesting point there is, who's been in control there in Afghanistan since, you know, the withdrawal? It's the Taliban. So we have allocated eight billion dollars to various humanitarian groups, charities, into Afghanistan, and no real, no real controls over whether the vast majority of that money or half of that money or whatever is going to the Taliban. And you really? Can, yeah, and you can guarantee that it's being siphoned off. I How mean, does that work? Well, um, I'm glad you asked that. Um, it wasn't that long ago there was a... Because there, there is an inspector general. They call him the... Uh, the, special in, uh, the special inspector general for Afghanistan reconstruction, SIGAR. Um, and... He testified before Congress, uh, I think much earlier this year, it might have been the, the, the uh, January, February time frame, about Afghanistan. And uh, he said, I cannot sit here and tell the, sub, the, the committee or the American taxpayer that we are not funding the Taliban through the, this money that is being allocated for Afghanistan. Whoa. Oh, okay. There you Unfortunately, go. as I sit here today, I cannot assure this committee that the American taxpayer uh, or the American taxpayer that we are not currently funding the Taliban. He continued, nor can I assure you that the Taliban are not diverting the money we are sending to the intended recipients, which are the poor Afghan people. Wow. Yeah. So think about that. 20 years in Afghanistan, <laughs> we leave in a, in a fucking mess of a withdrawal, right, which never should have taken place the way it did. And we've still got, there's maybe 150, 155,000 uh, special immigrant visa applicants trapped in Afghanistan waiting to get out. We don't know, we have no idea how many um, of our former Afghan allies, right, whomever it may be, are still there trapped trying to get out. And right? how many have been killed? And how many have been, exactly, how many have been killed? And in the meantime, now, now, again, you know, the idea at the top level, you know, the theory, we want to help the Afghan people. We can't just abandon all those poor people. So we're going to use the money to give it to humanitarian groups and they're going to try to feed them and everything. And yet there's no control over this, this fucking thing. And, and so that's, that's a problem that, again, should be talked about. But we don't, you know, we get lost in these, in these issues of the day that, that aren't, you know, really impactful, I guess, at the end of the day. Maybe they're impactful to people's, you know, individual lives, I guess, whatever, what, what the hell. But it is stunning that then the inspector general will come out and say he can't get 
uh, sufficient uh, information from State Department and from USAID uh, that's responsible in part for allocating these funds. Um, and in pure, typical Washington, D.C. Uh, bullshit, the reason is because the State Department says, well, you know, we withdrew from Afghanistan, so therefore the, the, the inspector general, you know, doesn't have the same job. We're not reconstructing Afghanistan anymore, so we don't have to respond to his request for information. So, which is, you know, it's, just, it's like this bizarre, but we're going to continue to give money out. And meanwhile, the Taliban's just shitting all over the people, right? Uh, if you forget about women's rights anymore. They've shut down secondary schools. They've shut down, there's certainly no universities. They've done, they, they've, they've restricted them basically to, you know, women to, and girls to sitting at home. Um, they, they, a very restricted movement outside. They have to be fully covered, obviously. Um, recently they just, they just shut down all beauty salons, right? Which was one of the few places women could work and only women could go into. Uh, women can't go into parks, right? They can't go, it, it, it's, it's, it's insane when you think about it that way and you think about, <laughs> yeah, but we're giving them money again, not for a bad reason, right? I mean, we, we want to help. Um, the, the 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 people that are suffering most. How does that money? But we have no control. Right. What what happens to that money? Like how does how could that money possibly get to the Taliban? Like what's going on? Well, it has to go through. Um, it has to go through humanitarian groups, NGOs, um, charities, and at some point, the idea is it, it's either funds or or goods, right? That have to be in the country. That have to get to the country to be dispersed. And the Taliban controls everything, right? Now, by the way, we also allocated a handful of billions of dollars to recapitalize the central bank there in Afghanistan. Well, that would seem to be, maybe I'm wrong, but that would seem to be basically putting money directly into the hands of the Taliban. Um, and so it's, it's a problem. You know, they're looking into it. But, uh, I mean, there's, there's so many weird... If you, if you spend too much time looking at the way the government sometimes operates... And going, switching back to Ukraine and saying, okay, um, we're, as, as an example, one of the things we're not doing is we're not fully sanctioning Russian oil. Because why? It's a political reason. We don't want the Russian oil taken off the market and driving gas prices up, which is bad for politics, right? So meanwhile, w one of the few real, you know, significant sources of revenue for the Russians is oil. That allows them to keep going. 